So capability procedure. Um, I've put a star next to this and said this might be quite a lengthy process. And I think I touched on this before because a capability procedure needs to be really, really thorough. And, and you need to be really sure that you've, you've followed, you, you've provided enough guidance and enough advice and enough support for the individual that's um, either struggling through performance or um, physical capability or mental capability. If, 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 if this made it to tribunal and the decision had been taken that you had just at the first instance said, you're no good to us, come on, you know, um, you know we're, 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 taking you, we're dismissing you because of your capability, um, that's not a fair process at all. And the, the ACAS guidance around capability is, is this, and this would, by following a framework like this, which I imagine your, your businesses have got within your handbooks, um, make, make sure that you can be as thorough as you can be. So, capability. As with dismissal, you'd always try and resolve it informally. Um, if you think it's that somebody perhaps has become, perhaps somebody's just switched off, perhaps they're, you know, they're, just, they're just not that interested in the work anymore, or, you know, and therefore their performance is lacking, but it's not, it's not down to their, um, their knowledge or their skills, just, just you know, doesn't necessarily make them tick. Usually things like that you could resolve informally and a manager having a one-to-one -one with an individual to say, you know, what's going on, is there anything I can help with, goes a long way. So again, we'd always try and resolve things like that uh, informally. Um, if it either can't be or um, it's the, the informal chat happened and nothing changed, that's when you go to a capability hearing um, and you invite the individual to, to a hearing where you would say, you know, I, 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 I discussed with you on X date informally about this or I've spoken to you about this um, I'm now, in, now inviting you to a capability hearing to discuss your, um, you know, whatever, whatever that may be. If there is no further action, well, from that there may be no further action or an amendment to performance standards for the employee. But I would also say you could, you might not necessarily want to amend, they might not, you, might, you might not be able to physically amend the, 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 the performance standards. The performance requirement from that individual is this and you can't alter that because that's the job. Um, however, the support that you might be giving to that individual to meet those standards might have changed. So if that person's struggling to perform, it could be that um, they have a physical, um, a physical issue, you know, physical concern. That could be um, eyesight. So their, their eyesight may be struggling. And in that in that hearing, they say, "My eyesight is really bad." And actually, do you know what would really help? If you could give me a, a, a bigger screen or this or that, such and such. And the company say, "Okay, yeah, that's fine. We could do that." Um, that's at that point. You amend either your support for the employee or, or if, 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 if you're able to, you could amend the standards required from the employee. If that happens and say, and I've not put any time frames on this, but if say six months passes by or three months passes by, nothing changes. I'd say always set some objectives at that stage. So, you know, you don't just do that. You don't just do this and then go, right, we've given you that now, off you go, by. You would, always, as a, you would always advise the manager or ask that the manager continues to meet with that individual to review the amendments and the uh, adjustments that you've made. Um, if on reviewing those, nothing changes, nothing improves, nothing's better, you're still in the situation that you're in, you would then probably invite the individual to another capability hearing. Um, and you can see now how it's always, it's very staged, it's very kind of being very thorough, timely, don't just leave it. Don't just think you can make a decision at the first instance. You can't. You need to make sure you've been very, very supportive and thorough throughout. Um, and again, so capability hearing, and then it goes back to either no further action, or you might need to am amend your adjustments again. You know, they might say, actually, no, the, the bigger screen isn't working. Um, can you can you support? Send you know, this, but there's this eye test that I could have this in-depth eye test, but I can't afford it. I need to have it on the, you know, on, 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 in, in, privately and I can't afford to do that. The company might then say, okay, well, we could support you with that or we could, um, we could, we could put you in contact with, with something else or we could fund it and you pay us back or whatever. Um, the company may take some other stance on adjustments there. So, so again, we go, we go to no further action or, or amending performance standards or amending the reasonable adjustments that we make. And if then we find again that nothing 
nothing changes and we're still in a situation where it's just not working you know both parties aren't both parties are feeling frustrated at the fact or you know uh, customers aren't being aren't being maintained in the way that they should be or whatever we may well invite uh, to another hearing another capability hearing where we say this is what we've done on this date we met to discuss that these are all the adjustments we've made i met with you on this date this date this date this date and hopefully by that point you'd have a whole raft of meetings and documented conversations um, where you can you can justify that things just haven't moved um, and your outcome to that capability hearing may be um, dismissal with notice so you, you would most probably pay in lieu of notice at that point if you've got pay in lieu of notice in contract yes yeah, so the appeals process is the same as as, dismiss, as disciplinary um, so your appeals process is if, if they want to want to um, query the outcome or, or have an issue with the process, that's the point at which they would um, write to confirm that.